you could do these two together. But I would not recommend that you do all of them at the same time. There are too many variables and there are too many things that could go wrong. So I've got a triangle. Now these, these things relate to one another where you've got, you've got real power. That's the kilowatts that you are busy drawing. And then you've got the reactive power and the amount of reactive power, the result of the reactive power gives you your KVA. It works on the Pythagorean uh, equation. So the KVA over there is equal to the square of the kilowatts added to the square of the KVAR. So let's assume that you're, it's a weekend and you are drawing 140 kilowatts. Uh, your system shows a demand of 190 kilowatts. I'm going to change the kilowatts at the bottom over here. So, so let's assume you've got a you've got 120 kilowatts being provided by the solar system. So you're only drawing 20 kilowatts from the grid. Look at your demand. Your demand's still sitting at 132 kVA, even though you're only drawing 20 kilowatts from the grid, and that is because your reactive power component stays the same. So that's your reactive power for for the entire year. In your municipal bill, they don't give reactive power. They give us a power factor, which is what I took, and they give us KVA. So I took the power factor and the KVA, and I calculated the kilowatts. And then because I knew the kilowatts and the KVA, I could calculate the reactive power component. So that line is 0 0.8. You can see over weekends, wherever wherever the top line crosses the, the bottom line, it goes below 0 0.8 there. What's that? 0 0.64. So this is going to cause issues when you have a solar system installed. You can't just, you, you won't be able to have a solar system installed and have your demand side managed. It's proposed that you, in order to manage your risks, that you, you follow a tiered step approach. Uh, because then you can spend for this step over here, your control and your power quality, it's probably going to cost you about 300,000 Rand, maybe 400,000. The controller that we're talking about over here is about 200,000 Rand for the controller. You won't be able to do what you need to do for the 7,000 Rand. And, and the reason why you need to follow a tiered approach is so that you can manage your risks.